Yeah. What the dealio is, YouTube. This is your boy Derek, and today I'm going to um, talk about if uh, there was a Child's Play 4. Alright. Now, you know, um, Bride of Chucky was made by this man named Ronnie Yu, alright, which he made the decent movie Bride of Chucky. And it wasn't serious at all, but for me, I wanted Child's Play 4. Alright, I don't care what anybody says. I wanted Child's Play 4. Okay? So, you know, let me talk about if there was a Child's Play 4 and my ideas for it. Alright, well, you know, after Child's Play 3, the movie would start off with um, Chucky going into another good guy doll. Alright? And basing basically re wanting revenge on Andy and um, Tyler. And, you know, as um, soon as you notice, um, they put Andy in the nut house for, um, you know, uh, throwing Chucky into the fan um, off of part three. You know, and they think Andy is crazy and... Uh, and then retarded. So, you know, Tyler, um, you know, he figures out where Andy is at. He he knows what nut house it is, uh, the Chicago nut house or whatever. And um basically, um Tyler lives in the ghetto now, alright, in LA. Um, you know, like how can I explain it to you? This movie would be half and half. Um, this movie would take place in Hollywood and, you know, half in the ghetto of L.A. in California. All right. But, um, you know, uh, they get Andy out of there. Um, you know, Tyler gets his gang. All right. And, of course, that, you know... Um, they hold up the people in the nut house. They bring a lot of guns there, and they hold people at gunpoint just to get Andy out of there. And, of course, um, you know, uh, Tyler gives Andy daps. If you know what daps is, it's this. Okay, it's this. Usually what black people use to shake their, their hands with. You know, but... You know, he gets Andy an outfit, a couple of outfits. Um, he gets him a ghetto outfit, and of course, for when he fights Chucky, he gets him a Rambo outfit. Which, of course, is homage to Rambo. Alright. So, yes, I'll get on to what, um, you know, the, what this uh, movie is about. Alright, so, you know, after Andy and, um... Tyler get away from the nut house. You know, um, Tyler and Andy talk about their plans because they know that Chucky's coming back to life, all right? And, of course, that, you know, um, Andy and Tyler make these plans. And, of course, they, they uh, buy a lot of weapons from the black market. You know, like machine guns, pistols, you know, um, grenade launchers, you know, rocket launchers. Um, you know, everything like that, that the military has. You know, on the black market, though. But, um, you know, other than that, you know, Andy um, has flashbacks of when he was a kid. And, of course, that, you know... Uh, in this movie, um, Andy is around 23, 24, and, of course, Tyler is around, um, you know, 13 or 14, probably 14, though. All right, so, you know, um, Tyler is smoking out with a, you know, blunt, and Andy is smoking, too. All right, and, of course, that, you know, um, Andy is talking with Tyler, and Tyler is like, yo, man, Chucky ruined my life, man. For real, I'm gonna get revenge on that motherfucker. 
and Andy is like, Tyler, you don't even know the start of it all. You know, and then Andy talks about because um, Chucky told him that he came down from heaven or whatever, and that his real name is Charles Lee Ray. Alright, so, you know, now it focuses back on Chucky. Chucky calls these killers or whatever, his buddies, and he tells them, um, I want you to capture Andy and Tyler and make sure that you don't kill them, that I kill them. Alright, so, you know, Andy gets bored. He goes and looks for a girl, you know, because um, he wants a girlfriend. And, of course, Tyler gets bored and... Tyler goes to this whorehouse, and of course that there's this uh, Japanese girl named, uh, I guess you could say Lucy, or whatever. Yeah, Lucy. So, you know, he falls in love with uh, Lucy, and then um, Lucy didn't, didn't um, screw anybody. Alright, this, like, this is her first time going to screw somebody. So, uh, right away she quits her job, alright, and... You know, she loves Tyler with all her heart, all right? So then you get, like, you know, three-minute scene of them kissing and, of course, uh, the love scene, which would probably be on uh, the DVD deleted scenes because it would be too dirty for the movie. But, um, you know, other than that, you know, Andy gets some, too, all right, from uh, this girl named Cindy. Of course, Cindy has blonde hair, and she's hot as hell. Alright, and um, that's the fact that, you know, um, you know, Andy calls up Tyler, alright, they just want to get this shit over with, alright, so, um, you know, Tyler and her and uh, Lucy are sleeping in the bed or whatever, Chucky comes over there, kidnaps uh, Lucy, and of course that, you know, um, Andy... All right, Andy um, meets up with Tyler, and of course that Chucky is in this warehouse with uh, Lucy, and of course he's uh, feeling up her uh, titties or whatever, and of course that, you know, the, the gang members, uh, Tyler's gang members know where uh, Chucky's at, so they take Andy and Tyler there, they bust down the door. You know, uh, Chucky is a little bitch. He runs out like a bitch. And, of course, that... <sighs> Let me get a breath. And, of course, that, you know, um, the killers um, and the gang fight each other. And, of course, that um, Chucky just runs away like a little bitch. Alright, so then they know where Chucky's at, but first they're going to hang out and talk. Alright, they go to a restaurant in Hollywood, alright. I guess uh, you could say the Emerald Cafe, alright, you know, um, Emerald Lagasse. Yeah, they go to a restaurant called Emerald Cafe. So they're eating there, and then, you know, Tyler's like, I want to get revenge on this motherfucking man. And, you know, Andy's like, yeah, I don't, I don't blame you, Tyler. I don't. I really want to end this shit right now, Tyler. All right. So then, uh, you know, they, they go over there, uh, you know, um, and I guess you could say Andy busts down the door first and he wants to fight Chucky alone to get his revenge on Chucky. But then, you know, Chucky stabs him about three times. There's a good fight scene with them, of course, that, you know. They're both punching each other, alright, um, Andy throws him a knife, alright, or not a knife, I mean a katana, and they're doing some, uh, you know, some martial arts shit, alright, and of course the Andy is wearing his, uh, Rambo outfit, <laughs> fucking awesome, man, fucking awesome, alright, and then, you know, uh, he uh, shoots Chucky a couple of times. He shoots him in his legs and in his arms and all that. All right, and yeah, you know, uh, Tyler comes in. They stab him. They they cut off his head. Chucky's still talking. All right, and then 
Yeah, well, all you know is, um, they burn him alive, all right? No lie, they burn him alive and bury him uh, in the desert. And then uh, they get all the good guy dolls and they burn them all and bury them in the desert as well. So, yeah, and then it zooms in on one of the good guy dolls, but it tricks us. It tricks us that there's going to be another Chucky movie, but then at the end of the... Before the credits comes on, it says, this is the last Child's Play movie, and uh, Chucky will never, ever come back ever again. And, of course, yeah. So that would be the, the the end of Child's Play 4, and, you know, I wish there was a Child's Play 4, man. Honestly, Child's Play 4. You know, but, uh, yeah, whatever. We, we never get what we want. You know, like, the real Alien 3, and, you know, the real um, Die Hard 2, and all that. Alright, I'm out, I'm out.